Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a while. I'm going to try and make a little, hopefully, a short, sweet how to video. Let me show you how to make some uh, paper beads. I got some drying right here. Those have yet to be glazed. I need to have one coat of glaze. Don't know if you can tell it's shiny there, but they're not really. They need, they need more than one coat. So let's get started. You guys need to put this down so you can see. I like using my cutting mat to cut on top of. So cutting board, if not, just cardboard or something sturdy that you can cut on top of besides the table. Piece of paper, I use a piece of printing paper. This is all it is. I already cut it down some. Um, you're going to mark it every half inch. I've already done that. Put it on the other side, mark it every half inch. Use your ruler. The long side you're going to need. Yeah. The long side you're going to make sure every um, half inch. Just make little marks using a ruler. I got my ruler on my cutting mat I used. Take your ruler. You can take whatever side you want, go up the one mark and put the other one down. And you see the one, put the other side down at the corner. You can start whatever side you want on, doesn't really matter. And cut. And you should get a piece that looks just like this. That's for half an inch. But if you want a piece that's an inch thick, you can go up two lines. You can flip it over, go up two lines on the other side, and put it down the corner on the other side. Hold down the ruler. And voila. Now this is an inch thick. Nice long triangle. Alright, I got my piles made. Put this to the side. I'll finish that one up later. And let's get started. Again, cutting mat, exacto knife. You could have used a pen or pencil and trace the line and cut it out. I like my exacto knife, so I'm gonna need some permanent markers. This is the container I've been using that I'm gonna use. Big markers, permanent. If they're washable, it's gonna the colors are gonna run with either the glue or the glaze. So I seen a video on how to do this, I decided to make my own. This is just what I've been using for uh, coloring. Once you want white beads, then go ahead and you can just go on next step and you can roll them. But I'm going to make mine a little colorful like these are. You can use whatever colors you want. I picked bright green, blue, and black. I'm still working on making some more beads. That's what I'm going to show you with. Take whatever size paper you want. I'm using the half inch. I'm gonna alternate I'm gonna alternate my stripes. I can make little stripes. Just throw it black on the bottom. Sorry if you can't really see you're just gonna color the edge like so. Because when you roll it you won't see the middle so you only need to color the edge. There we go green. Green we we'll go black. Black. And we'll go blue. Ah. Paper flips. And some blue. Make it a little bit longer. And then I'm going to make the tip all one color. The last like two and a half inches I try to make Two, one and a half, one to two inches. I try to make the same color just so it looks a little nicer. So there you go. Now you have a little strip. It's colorful. I'm going to use a bigger one. I'm going to use kind of use different colors. I'm going to use black. Excuse. I've done the black, just black and white, they seem pretty, they came out pretty cool. 
I already made one, so I'm going to make another one, make matching earrings with it. Alright, black. We have a space. Another black strip. We're just going black and white. And black. You play around any kind of ideas. You do alternating. You can do like green, blue, you know, alternate so they're not even with each other. I've done that, I've done the alternating, it comes out like bar like looking kinda of like a barcode. Pretty cool. Alright, so now I'm gonna roll these. You can either use paper bead rolling. It's got a little slit. Do that, they come out thicker. Like this one. They come out thicker and it's got line in the middle. So when you try to make earrings like the head pin, you have to put a small bead at the bottom. Otherwise the head pin might go through. Is this one already made inch and a half inch are the smaller ones. So I'm gonna use toothpicks for mine. So I'm gonna roll the big one. Flip this over. This is the glue side. You flip it over so the color the part you colored is down, the back side up. I like using my glue stick. I just kind of put like two fingers or wherever the line ends. And glue from there. You don't have to, you can just put a little glue at the end if you want. Gold do you. Sorry, my head's itchy. Um, it's all glued, so. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna wrap it. Take this and wrap it around the toothpick. And just kind of, you can do this with the bigger ones. Just kind of thumbs at the bottom and just roll it. And make sure it rolls evenly as you go. Just kind of look at it. You should get to a point where you can. Uh, you get the stick right, you can just kind of roll the toothpick and hold it. Hold the paper so it rolls nice and tight. You don't want it to roll, you don't want it to roll it loosely. Make sure it looks all nice and even. I like to roll the top on the glue stick. Just get some glue on it. And there you go. There is the black and white bee. It looks pretty cool. Kind of goes with like a barcode look. I like it. This will be earrings when I'm done. Let's figure out which one matches. Uh oh. I think this one's it. So I made two sets. I made uh. That one's it. Alright. I'm going to take a smaller piece that I have done. I'm going to roll that one. Just so you can see what it looks like. Again, put the colored side down. Back side up. And you can put glue on both sides. I've done that already by mistake. And again, just kind of pinch it. And roll it. This one takes a while to get started. And get it right. I try to like put my finger under and push with my thumb and kind of roll it. Oh, you want to get stuck to the toothpick and you just kind of hold it, roll toothpick. It's a lot easier. Again, just go on top of the glue. Make sure it sticks. Go rub in the glue a little bit. There you go. Get yourself a pretty little bead. You just need to glaze it or use some kind of sealer. 
I've heard a lot of people use Mod Podge um, or some kind of crafting glaze. I found this triple thick glaze. It's it is for crafting for ideal ideal for crafts, art, and decorative projects. Fast drying, high gloss finish, nine yellowing. Just it does dry clear. Like you can see these. A little, you can kind of tell it's shiny. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but it's a little shiny. Like I said, I just need to put <gasps> the glue. Okay. Move this. I just need the, another coat on these. I was waiting for them to dry. They're all dry now. I just, I'll, I would do it for you, but I ain't doing it in the house. I'm going to go out the garage and buy a piece of cardboard and spray it down. So I hope you like my tutorial. Um, maybe I'll post an update video after I get a wall, get a bracelet made or something. Um, maybe I'll do an update video or a tutorial, you know, maybe another tutorial soon. So comment, rate, subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye.